Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a natural deodorant I've been trying out and it was very highly requested that I give you guys my experience with it so let's jump right into it. So today I'm going to be reviewing Onion's Bump Butter. I actually picked this up in the unscented version so it's more of like a pudding or a creamy based product and it says that it's a cream to powder formula so it starts out as a cream here in the pot and then when you put it on your armpit it turns into a powder and it works like a regular deodorant so before purchasing this i was very very skeptical that it would even work i've never used a natural deodorant ever in my life but i really want to start using more natural products in my hygiene routine so i figured i'd start with this because it was on sale when i bought it and i have tried everything else from oyen and loved it so i figured this has to be good as well right and i have to say that even though i really was expecting it not to work at all this is the very best deodorant i've ever had as far as masking odor or just completely neutralizing odor in general. I did not have any odor at all when I was using this deodorant and I am not a delicate dainty flower when it comes to the sweating department. I, mm, I've i actually switched over to using like men's deodorant because I sweat a lot like I'm just a natural sweater and of course with sweat comes funk. So Secret, Dove, don't work for me. They used to and then after a year or so of that, I couldn't use it anymore. But with this product, I kid you not, I was honestly in disbelief. Like when I would get home after working nine hours, I had no odor at all. Now because it's natural, it doesn't have the sweat glam blocking chemicals that most unnatural deodorants have. So you will still sweat and that's something to keep in mind with a natural deodorant. It's not an antiperspirant, it's a deodorant. So nothing blocked my sweat, but you don't want your sweat glands to be blocked like you need to sweat it's a natural body function it purges toxins it also like keeps you cool and it's just the natural homeostasis of your body so you don't want to interfere with that at all so I didn't mind it it was just something to get used to like you know having sweat down there when usually with antiperspirants we're used to nothing so I ended up trying this out for three and a half weeks and I'm gonna give you a final rundown and if I would repurchase this natural deodorant. So let's start with the pros. There are a lot of pros to this product. The first is that it's black owned, it's a small business, and that everything is handcrafted and it's completely natural, like you can definitely trust the ingredients. I love that about this product and it's one of the reasons why I picked it up. As I mentioned before, it actually does stop your odor completely. At least it stopped mine completely, and that's unprecedented. I've never had any deodorant ever do that, ever. Like, I was so excited, and I thought it was kind of a fluke. Like, the first couple of days, I was like, this can't be right. Like, this just can't be right. So I tried it for a couple of weeks, and yes, I never had any odor with this product during that time period. And an interesting pro to this product is that it says you can use it under your arms or between your toes. That's interesting. I've never had an issue with like odor between my toes, but if you do, that's really, really cool. So those are my pros for this product. And honestly, the rest of my thoughts of this product are cons. I hate that I do have cons, but I have to keep it real. And there are just some things about this product that I do not like. So the first of them being is the fact that this is in a jar. This is so, so hard to use because it's not like in a stick formula. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm always late in the morning. Like I rarely ever have time to just like dilly dally in the morning. I'm like flying around, putting on my clothes, brushing my teeth at the same time I'm making my breakfast. Like I'm really bad at getting up in the morning. So using something like this, it takes time out of my day. So you take a little bit of it and it's really, like I said, it's like a putty because it's not thin, it's kind of thick. So you take this pea-sized amount and you have to like soften it up with your fingers. And this is how I found that it's easiest for me to soften it. So I just move it back and forth and then you have to like pull it off the side of your finger. Kind of builds up on the side there. Then you got to like move it over and put it on that side and like really soften it down to like a kind of like warm gooey texture. And then you have to paint this on your armpits. And that's just too much. <laughs> like, I just don't have time. I don't have time for that. I think it's easier when the product is just in a stick, you take the cap off, boom, 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 you're done. With this, I have to take like 30 seconds to a minute to soften it up. 
um, to make sure that it could properly apply to my arms because if you apply it when it's not soft and warm, it's really gunky and it really doesn't spread smoothly on your arm. And then even after that happens, like I said, I'm constantly moving in the morning. So once I would apply this deodorant, I would go ahead and move on to lotioning up or making my breakfast or whatever I needed to do. And like chunks of the deodorant were falling off onto the floor. And then I had like deodorant chunks all over my floor. Like that's kind of gross. So the user friendliness of this product is definitely low. I feel like they could improve on it. Maybe they can make a stick version of this because it works well. It's just actually getting it on your armpit too time intensive. The caution that they give about certain ingredients being abrasive and you need to apply with a light touch, take that very, very seriously. When I first purchased the product, the person who was helping me out let me know that if you don't soften up the product, it will irritate you and it can cause your armpits to turn black. So I never really had an issue with that. So I guess I didn't take it seriously because of that fact. And I noticed almost right away, probably around the third day, that I was getting irritated. But I figured maybe I'm just getting used to the product. And I just honestly really liked the fact that I had no odor. So I tried to make it work for me. And over time, like my skin got kind of red. I did have irritation. And eventually I did have spots of my armpit turn black. So currently I have black marks under my arms that I never had before. And that's a really big turn off like getting marks and blemishes from using a product. So that's something that you definitely want to take seriously, really soften up the product. Now I do have sensitive skin and this might be the reason why it affected me the way that it did. It may not affect you that way if you don't have sensitive skin. And I did get the fragrance free version because I knew I had sensitive skin and that still didn't really make a difference because of the abrasiveness of the products. And I don't like that you can't apply this deodorant after you just shaved. So when you shave your armpits, you kind of open up your skin and it also, I feel like you probably do get some abrasions on your skin too, running a razor on your underarm. So this would irritate that because of how abrasive the ingredients are. So then you have to have a separate deodorant for after you shave. And the salesperson told me that, you know, you can like shave the night before, put an oil on before you go to bed, then wake up the next morning and use the deodorant. But then you got to make sure you shave the night before. And then if you don't, like either you can't shave or you got to have another product to use. And it's just, again, too much. It's not easy enough for me. As much as I love the Oyen brand and I continue to stand by their products because this obviously works. Um, it's just way too abrasive for me and their hair products are completely amazing. I will not be purchasing this again because it just doesn't work for me. Now this isn't to say that it won't work for you but I wanted to share my experience with you guys so you can hear how it works on sensitive skin and for somebody who's on the go. But alright guys that was my entire review. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and I welcome you to subscribe if you want to see more from me and more from my channel. I recently hit 5,000 subscribers and that is super 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 cool. I'm very very happy about it and I just really appreciate you guys showing support, commenting, liking and it makes me happy that someone is enjoying these videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!